at the potential damage that it can cause if it is not properly regulated. And so once this document, has, our strategy has, been, uh, has, has gone through cabinet, we'll bring it here for parliament's input as well, because I think it's very important. And we can also show the way for the rest of the continent. I must thank the House for approving the digital acceleration policy as well and inform you that it's the project attained effectiveness on 5th June, meaning the World Bank has approved it for us to start implementing it. And the good thing about this is that the NCA will be supported under this Ghana Digital Acceleration Policy to develop regulatory mechanisms to address new and emerging technologies because there are regulatory and legal gaps. When our NCA Act and Electronic Transactions Act were passed in 2008, none of these major innovations have taken place. We've used these laws for a long time, but now we need to look at the legal and regulatory gaps in them and work to address them. And thankfully, the Digital Acceleration Policy a Project will provide them with the needed funding to look at that. Now, machine learning, augmented and extended realities, artificial intelligence, all raise um, interesting challenges that we need to address. And in, in Africa, and particularly Ghana, the benefits of artificial intelligence are readily apparent. It, AI offers myriad of potential benefits for Ghana. The system relies on algorithms and machine learning to analyze data and make predictions. AI is one of the most transformative technologies of our time. As a country embarks on digital innovation and attempts to mainstream ICT in all aspects of our public national life, leveraging on AI for economic growth, development, and digital transformation must be an urgent consideration of our country if we are to secure tomorrow's competitive future, which will be driven largely by technology and by AI. May I speak out? Human rights standards, data protection laws, and ethical principles are all necessary to guide, regulate, and manage the use of artificial intelligence. We need to ensure strict adherence to responsible AI principles. Ghana needs to ready itself for an AI future, to reap AI benefits and mitigate its threats. Policy must necessarily respond to the opportunities AI offers. When we checked, it was released by a TikTok user called Ghostwriter1977. So it took the management of the artist to quickly get to TikTok and Spotify to remove this particular song on the platforms. When it was investigated, this ghost writer 977 used AI to reproduce a new song using an artist's name, an artist's style, an artist's lyrics. Mr. Speaker, I'm wondering if this had happened to any of our artists in this country. What regulation, what rules can be used to salvage the situation? Because 9 million views on TikTok, it's no small money. It's being used now to generate a lot of money. And that's why I share in the recommendations by the maker of the statement that we need policy, we need regulation. I agree with the um, honorable member's point that some architecture around legislation or regulation needs to be contemplated. Because if you take even the uh, discovery of the atom in 1803 or so, sorry, in um, 1903 or so, the whole atomic theory conversation. Today, the people who propounded those theories are beginning to get worried as to what it has led to, the atomic bomb and other things. And similarly, those who worked on AI, if you read some of the contemporary literature, are beginning to worry about the potentials. And so it is opportune time for us to start considering what sort of architecture, legal or regulatory, needs to be put in place to limit the uh, most dangerous parts uh, of it, even as we seek to benefit from its um, uh, upsides. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I commend the uh, statement maker. For